Hello, and welcome to Monsaware Facebook Sessions. And today we're going to do our first session on head wraps. And we have our model right here. At Monsaware, we have lots of different head wraps that we're doing. And um, our location is on 367 Park Avenue, so that if you want to purchase any of these beautiful head wrap fabrics, so that you can try your own, that would be great. Um, head wrap, why, why do people wear head wraps? Well, there's lots of reasons. People wear them for fashion, to look, you know, outstanding, to stand out, and they don't always have to match with your outfit. They can um, be a mashup, like Nita always says, that you can take your American clothing and mix it with the Ghanaian fabric. So you pick some colors and what you're wearing, like I'm wearing orange and white, I would put a blue and white one on and it would still ma match with it because um, it all blends together, especially like when you want to wear bright colors. People also wore them to, for protection. When you're out in the sun, the head wrap protects your scalp from the sun. In the winter days, it helps from the dryness and your hair getting brittle. And Nita also explained that the practical, and Nita is the owner of Monsaware, so I'm referring to her for various topics, but um, for practicality, because in the African countries, the women had to carry farming products, and these head wraps protected their scalp from any damage. Um, and so they, they create a strong cultural statement when wearing them, or a fashionable statement, or again, protection. So this is one of the great fabrics that we have here at Monsaware that Nita brought back from Ghana. It's very bright, the pink and purple. People come in the shop and just love it. It looks amazing on any skin tone. Um, we have some other fabrics here too that you can select from, and then I'll get into how some ideas and ways that you can tie the head wrap. So here's one. It's blue and white, so if you're wearing jeans or anything with a little, any color that mashes or mixes well with the blue and the brown and white would be great. This is one of my favorites, the bright yellow with the blue and white. This is a popular seller. And the fabric in these head wraps make it so conducive to twisting and turning and putting bows in and staying just how you want it to be. Here's a dark purple with the oranges and the yellows and the beige. Not sure how much of that you can see, but that's beautiful. And not only can you wear these as head wraps, you can wear them as a sarong over your bathing suit. Um, so they're quite versatile. Here's the uh, one of my favorites that I'm gonna show you some ideas with today, the blue and white. Again, that would go with many colors. And if you're getting a custom-made um, outfit here, you could get the matching head wrap to go with it, but people don't always um, wear matchy-matchy, so you pick and choose what you want. This is sort of neat if you're adventurous and like the psychedelic, the brown, green, and white. And here's our navy blue with some blue and beautiful, vibrant oranges. I don't know if you see that there. Very nice. The uh, head wraps go for $35, but you'll find people buy two, three at a time because they love the feel of the material and how they can work with them. Here's another one. And that's good. So I'm going to show you, the way I learned to wear them was to go on YouTube and to practice some, and they give you these nice tutorials of how to wrap them. But since we're featuring the head wraps here at Monsaware today, I'll, I'll give you a couple ways that I um, learned how to do them while I was sitting in the shop. But if you don't want a lot of drama at the front, what I like to do is start at the front with the head wrap and bring it back, okay? It takes a lot of twisting and turning, so it's not gonna be perfect at first. You want to tuck in this. If you have real high hair and you put it in a bun, that you'll need that room. But if you don't, like me, I'm wearing it flat today. You just start from the front and twist it around. Okay, I know I look a little silly here, but that's okay. And then you twist the sides. 
whoops, getting caught in my hand. Again, it's not a simple simple. And let's say you want it on the side here. You can just twist it this way. All right, put a knot in it. Um, you could twist it again. You can tuck it in. All right, tuck it in different spots. And whatever, well, again, let's, let's try that one more time. It's going to be a lot of trial and error when you do it. All right, so what I would do is twist this again, and I can tuck it in the front here, tuck it in over on the side, and just have a head wrap like that where there's no bow on it. But once you find a way to tuck it all in, it gives you the protection, it gives you the style. Even if you're having a bad hair day, you might just want to wear one, okay? Now, if you like a lot of... Uh, what should I say, material in the front, start from the back. Okay, so basically what I'm just teaching you today is start from the front if you don't want a lot in the front here at the end. But if you do, then start from the back, okay? And bring it up. And again, tie it in a bow. You never want anyone watching you do this because it gets pretty funky, but, okay. And you can cover all this and tuck it. It's a lot of tucking. And then you can put a bow if you want. Well, actually, what I think I'll do is tie another knot. All right, tie that tight. And maybe one more. So it's not too long. Okay, and then you can just sort of put these out. That looks a little messy, but, you know, twist and turn. Do it however you want. And I would maybe tuck, yeah, tuck that in a little bit. Yeah, and you could even pin it down if you had to. But anyhow... These are our head wraps and a lot going on with them. And um, Montsaware has lots of different patterns for you. And we'd love for you to stop in and be able to come check out the head wraps. You can even try them and um, have fun wearing them, especially with the cooler weather coming in. You might want to have them for protection from the, so that they don't make your hair brittle. Um, again, remember they warm for practicality to protect your heads. They warm for fashion, or we wear them now for fashion. And any, if you're having just a bad hair day, and um, stop in at Monsa, where again we're located at 367 Park Avenue. Um, go on YouTube. YouTube has beautiful, beautiful ideas of how to wrap them. So I hope this helped you, and I hope next week we'll be presenting another topic. So please come tune in to Monsa Wear Facebook Live next Friday at 12. This was our first week, so we were just a little bit late, but now we know what we're doing, and we'll be right on time next Friday. Have a wonderful weekend, and thank you for listening.